going on guys it's Darwin so today I wanted to talk about water filtration and the system that I used whenever I was doing my through hike on the Appalachian Trail uh, definitely the same system that I use anytime I go out so most people are familiar with the Sawyer mini filter um, it's definitely become a very popular filter number one um, on my scale this guy only weighs in at 1.9 ounces now, how you use the filter is you typically use one of their Sawyer squeeze bags. You feed it onto the top after you fill it with dirty water. And then you just simply pop this little guy off here and squeeze the water right into your bottle. So, um, definitely a good option. A lot of people use these. I'd say about 95% of the people on the trail um, use these guys. They're great filters. Uh, the only problem that I found with them is they are a little slow on the feed and they tend to jam up and get dirty pretty quick. So you have to back flush them a lot. So that means that um, typically they come with a syringe. You'd want to carry that, have to back flush it, you're adding extra weight. So a really good option and what I ended up switching to was the regular Sawyer. Now the regular Sawyer uh, does the same. It filters like 100,000 gallons of water. In, in one use. Um, they're, they're pretty affordable, 30 bucks versus 20 bucks. Um, they also have the squeeze bag attachment where you put it on the back and the regular one comes in on my scale at 3.2 ounces. Now it could be weighing a little bit more uh, especially because you know it's been soiled on the inside and has the water on side, inside of that filter. But what I did with this guy, instead of actually using the squeeze bags, because after a while you've been hiking all day, sitting down, pushing those squeeze bags um, can get kind of irritating. So I found one of these little guys here. Uh, it's by a company called Kent. They make these little attachments. It screws right onto the back, like so. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to turn it into a gravity feed system. So this little guy here weighs 0.1 ounces. Then I picked up one of these uh, from Platypus. It's just a silicone tube with a quick connect on the back. So you take that tube, you connect it to the end of the filter. Then you buy you one of these nice Platypus gravity feed bags. Now this is a two liter um, Platypus dirty reservoir. So you can see right there, they make a few different ones. I think they make a three liter and I think they also make a one liter. But the great thing about this is you can hang it from a tree, fill it up with two liters of dirty water. You click your, you click your quick connect there on your hose and then you can just let gravity do the work for you and it pushes the water straight down into the filter. So let me show you. Here's our two liters of dirty water uh, hanging in our platypus bag have it hanging from a branch here. Definitely want to make sure you get it up off the ground about as high as the tube is. Um, so then we're going to take the quick connect here. We're going to go ahead and connect it. It just clips in just like that. It's kind of a little spring-loaded clip. I usually let a little bit of water feed through the tube first. Connect my filter back on and then as you can see we got a nice steady stream and we can just put it right into our smart water bottle and filter out some water. So yeah, total for the system, uh, the total weight was 7.9 ounces and that's for the, the 2 liter bag, the Sawyer regular filter, this little attachment here, the tube with the quick connect, um, not so bad. Definitely a lot lighter than uh, some of those older pump filters by Catadine and MSR. And pretty convenient to have that gravity feed. That's the system that worked for me. Hopefully it'll work for you. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, leave me some comments below. Like or dislike my video. Subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.